In this video, we are going to discuss CSMS CD random access protocol that is carrier sense multiple access collision detection. So, what is the rules? What are the rules for CSMS CD? In the earlier video, we have discussed CSMA. You can watch that one because that will make you, your conception clear to understand this one also. If the medium is idle, then start transmitting, otherwise go to step 2. So, if the medium is idle means you are trying to find out or trying to listen the presence of carrier signal in the medium. If the medium is busy, continue to listen until the channel is idle and then start transmitting immediately. If during transmission a collision is detected, that means this is the main difference between CSMA and CSMA CD. During transmission, you are listening. And in, if during transmission a collision is detected, transmit a brief jamming signal to assure that all stations know that there has been a collision and then cease transmission. So, one special jamming message will be sent so that all the uh, related stations can get that uh, one indication that one collision has taken place and cease your transmission. After transmitting the jamming signal, wait for a random amount of time refer to as a back off then attempt to transmit back again and start repeating from step number 1. So, this is the respective rules in our CSMS CD. So, just see here at the time t is equal to 0 at time t is equal to that means the t 0 rather. So, we are having how many nodes we are having stations 4 stations A is finding that the media is idle could recognize the presence of carrier signal in the media. So, A is in transmission. At time t1, c is trying to sense the presence of carrier signal in the media. It could also get that one because a's transmitted signal has not been reached up to this level. So, c has found the media is idle. So, c will be also in transmission at time t1. At time t2, this collision has taken place and c has recognized that collision because the noise is there, but the noise has not been reached to a. So, A is still in its transmission, C has sent a special jamming signal to give the alarm to all the uh, stations which are there connected and then C will cease its transmission. In the meantime, that very jamming signal and the noise will, will reach to A and A will also cease its transmission. Then A and C will wait for a random period of time according to the, uh, the rule in the algorithm so, A and C will be back into the transmission once again. So, this is a basic principle which is there in our CSMA CD. So, we have discussed in details about the CSMA in the earlier video and here we are discussing how the collision detection is being observed. So, here we are having the MAC frame format that is media access control frame format. In case of, in case of CSMA CD, the first 7 octets, octet means 1 byte. So, 7 byte means how many bits? We will be having 56 bits and this particular 56 bits will be known as a preamble. So, there is a 56 bits will be known as a preamble. So, preamble is a 7 octet pattern of alternating zeros and 1s are used to establish bit synchronization by the receiver. So, that we can do the uh, bit synchronization between the sender and the receiver and this particular pattern will be 0 1 0 1 0 1 in this way 56 bits. Now, next one we are having the start frame delimiter, it is having the size of 1 byte and start frame delimiter that is a 1 byte size and the sequence is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1. So, this is a pattern we are getting and whenever we are getting this particular pattern that is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1, then at the receiving end will be uh, the node the respective station can understand the preamble has got ended this is the sfd has got ended now the actual the destination at the source that is other fields will be initiating so the sequence is 10101011 which indicates the actual start of the frame and enables the receiver to identify the first bit of the rest of the frame content so that's why it is very nice in case of preamble, we will be having 5601101 pattern and then 1 byte for the start frame delimiter. Also, it is known as frame delimiter, FD can also be called as SFD that is 10101011. 1, 1, 1, 1. 
this one one is a very very interesting because previously we didn't have that one one there so this one one will indicate that end of preamble and sfd now next bit will be the main bit of the frame next one we are having this destination address which might be of 6 bytes so destination address which might be of 6 bytes specifies the stations for which the frame is intended we know that 6 bytes means how many bits 48 bits we know the ethernet address was having the 48 bits next one we are having the source address in short it will be known as sa you can find it 6 bytes that means 48 bits specifies the target station's address next one we are having the 2 bytes which will be written the byte count because the LLC data logical link control data this LLC data has got, has got no fixed count that is why it is written there greater than equal to 0 this length will be containing in 2 byte space will be containing the byte count of the LLC data so here we are having this length type length of the LLC data field in the octets format and then we are having this LLC data the LLC data unit that is the actual payload that is the actual data which was supposed to get transmitted and all the all the rest fields are nothing but the augmented fields so now we are having this padding the octets added to ensure the proper CD operation so that is a proper collision detection operation this particular pad has got no such fixed measurement if the if the distance between the sender and the receiving stations is long pad will have huge number of bytes in that case this pad means whenever the pads are getting transmitted that means the node the sender node is still in transmission that means it is still listening whether any collision is taking place till that moment or not so that means it is keeping itself busy so that is why it is written that this octet added, uh, added to the to ensure proper CD operation collision detection operation next one we are having this frame check sequence in short it will be called as FCS used for error detection a 32 bit cyclic redundancy check based on all fields except the preamble SFD and FCS this particular CRC code will be generated so it is of 32 bits and that is why the respective CRC code will be of 32 bits means 4 bytes and this particular this particular uh, 4 bytes will get filled up calculating CRC on DA, SA, length and LLC data not on preamble SFD or say pad. So it has been written there except your preamble SFD and FCS so for the rest uh, vital fields on the vital fields data this CRC will be calculated. So now here we are having IEEE 802.3 10mbps physical layer medium alternatives. So here we, we are having 10 base 5. What is the 10? 10 mbps. What is the base? Base band. Base band means which signal? Digital signal. 5 means what? The segment length can be of 500 meters. You can find this one. It is a 500 meters. And what is 10 here? 10 mbps. What is base? baseband means digital signal what is 2 that means the segment length maximum will be 200 meters here you see it is almost 200 185 and 10 base fp 10 stands for 10 mbps base stands for baseband if it is broad then it will be broadband signal and fp stands for the fiber optic cable so in this way here we are getting this ieee that is institute of electrical and electronics engineers 802.3 10 mbps physical layer medium alternatives so in this particular video we have discussed what is csms cd and how does it operate and respective frame format and its different fields explanations thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning